now at 11. No charges. I honestly wanted today to be closure. I wanted today to. Loved ones react to news that an officer will not be charged with a crime in the taser death of a young South Florida artist. Today, the state attorney issued the final report in the death of Israel Hernandez. Good evening, I'm Erica Sargent. And I'm Rick Fulbaum. The 18-year-old's death prompted an investigation into whether the officer was justified in using the stun gun. CBS 4's Donna Rapato joins us live from Miami Beach where his friends held a vigil. Donna. Yeah, this is where it all ended nearly two years ago in August, where Officer George Mercado tased Israel Hernandez. You could see the flowers his friends laid here during an impromptu vigil tonight after the state attorney said earlier she will not charge Officer Mercado for Hernandez's death. I honestly wanted today to be closure. I want Israel to Hernandez's go. friends and supporters gathered at the storefront. The 18 year old was spray painting with friends nearly two years ago. Their pain and anger surfaced again during this impromptu vigil after finding out earlier state attorney Catherine Fernandez Rundle will not file criminal charges against Miami Beach police officer George Mercado. Nicknamed Rifa, Hernandez died after Mercado tased him. So I don't know what George Mercado looks like, so I honestly thought today that was going to be released as well. And I thought charges were going to be pressed against him, so I wouldn't have to worry about ever seeing him on the street or ever seeing him in Miami Beach. So yeah, her apology doesn't mean anything to me. This computer animation from the state attorney's office recreates what police say happened August 6, 2013. <laughs> Officers respond to reports of someone spray painting an empty building on 71st and Collins Avenue. They run after Hernandez for several blocks before Mercado comes face to face with the teen and deploys his taser. A newly released report explains prosecutors found Mercado was legally justified in tasing Hernandez, the taser not considered as deadly as a gun. So no reasonable expectation existed that the taser would kill Hernandez. We cannot in good faith proceed with criminal charges against Officer Mercado. My friends watched him die. In on the floor, my friends watched the, the cops high five each other. The medical examiner ruled Hernandez's death was an accident, his heart failing because of an electric device discharge. We believe that this product is a dangerous product. We believe that this is a product that should be characterized as lethal force. It certainly was for Mr. Hernandez. And we're back out live. Hernandez's family was too emotional to come to the vigil after today's news, but their attorney did tell us earlier that they have filed a lawsuit for negligence against the city of Miami Beach to include Officer Mercado and Taser, the company. We're live in Miami Beach. Donna Rapato, CBS 4 News, tonight. Donna, thank you. Tonight,